Hey everyone, it's your boy May here, bringing you another video from in here in VR. Well, what do you want? To, what I want to talk about today is haptics, right? And how it can you can do certain things to add more haptics in order to enjoy your VR experience as a seated VR gamer, right? So what did I do? I built a haptic chair, right? Um, yeah, it's not like Ready Player One where you can feel fingers running all over you or anything along that lines. But, hey, for now, it'll do the job, right? So what I did was I took an own computer chair that I had bought from Walmart a few years ago and kind of alter it. And when I say alter it, what I did was I attached some base shakers to it in order to give me more of a feel of what's going on in my VR world, all right? So, I bought myself two Dayton mini um, base shakers, and then I bought one Dayton 50 watt base shaker, and then a car amp. Yes, you heard me, a car amp. And I put it all together. So, the car amp was nothing but a small, uh, it was a 30 watt, uh, you know, car amp. It cost me about 20 bucks, well, $21 actually. Uh, the mini base uh, base shakers, twenty dollars a piece, so total was forty bucks. And then, and then the PA to resistance was the main shaker, the fifty watt, and that one cost me forty seven for a total of a hundred and seven dollars. Okay, so now you don't really. After putting the chair together, I found out that you truly don't need the smaller base shakers but as they do add a little bit more to it but if you're working on a budget you can get away with solely just the main 50 watt one you know because that's the one that really provides the whoa right so that one like i said so it looks like you can probably get away with building one of these for about 68 bucks all right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a few of the steps of um, how to then set it up and have it sync to my Oculus Rift so I can get when I'm in my VR doing my thing, have it all playing together so I get that full experience. Now, I'm going to kind of go through what I just kind of um, mounted. First of all, I mounted the 50 watt under the chair so I get that that vibrating coming from up underneath me and then the two mini shakers on my back is actually under the leather of the back of the chair and then I got that vibration coming forward to kind of push onto my back and give me that full body experience now with that said and that's the basic of it all I want to now go into how to get it all set up uh, as in in the system and then working in sync with your oculus riff so you get that full feel for it all right so all my cd gamers hopefully you jump after this video you're going to run out and you're going to get yourself these um shakers um, some of you guys probably already have it and hasn't even been using it for vr you know if you are into racing or flight sims or anything like that and those are the guys who gave me the idea in the first place. The guy at the gym that does racing games told me to get out and go get these. And I took me a while. And I even saw a few other um, YouTubers using it. So I had to go ahead and get it. And I have to give a shout out to the one YouTuber that um, watched his video and then decided how about going out getting mine. Which was uh, Reality Check. I think that's his name. I'll put, it, I'll put a link to his page in the bottom. All right, people, now moving on to the next spot. All right, like I said, this is how we go ahead about setting it up. You're going to go down to the little speaker in your right-hand side of the screen. Go up to recording devices. All right, now you should have something that says stereo mixes in it. You're going to go ahead and click on stereo mixes. All right, now after you click on it, you're going to go down to properties. Click on properties and go up to listening click on listening 
as you see mine is already set up so I'm gonna go ahead and show you but you still want to go down to that little drop box right here where he says headset riff audio and then if you because yours won't set like riff audio so you're gonna go ahead and select that you can hit apply since I'm not making any changes I'll just hit OK and then hit OK and then boom people that's it that's how you get them syncing and going for it well pretty much that's it then after you finish doing all that what you gotta have to do is get back in your oculus okay and then once in your oculus you're gonna go to settings and right where it says headset you're gonna look at the audio and then audio would have riff audio and then riff mic you're gonna change the riff audio and put it to Windows default and then when you get ready to play you just change your Windows default to the speakers and then you'll hear the sound playing to your headset as well as your speakers all right people thanks for joining me hopefully this was very intuitive and you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you know hit that thumbs up so we can get and um, get people in and if you know anyone that is a seated VR gamer go ahead and share this over on them because this is something maybe hopefully they might be interested in and maybe they'll stick around on the page so we can grow it and then find out what is better for us CD VR gamers to do in, in order to enjoy the, our games. So I'm going to hop off here right now and maybe play some Gun Heart. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Gun Heart. I'm going to get in and shoot some stuff up and feel the vibration. All right, people. Until next week.